Hello everyone, welcome to episode 29 of our survival series. My name is Joe Buffalo and joining me today is Leo the cow. How are you, bud? Good. Good? What do you want to do today? You want to build a bee farm so we can get honey and honeycomb? Yeah. Oh, that sounds like an awesome idea, but the first thing we have to do is go find some bees. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's go. So where do we find bees, Leo? Uh... Away. I think bees are found in the meadow and I know over by our villagers There's a meadow over there that we can go explore and we can go look for a bees nest over that way So Leo, there's three things we're gonna need to bring with us besides the normal beds and food that we normally bring on expeditions Well, the first thing is we need a pair of shears We need shears so we can shear the honeycomb We also need a campfire campfire can be put underneath the bees nest so that it'll calm the bees from the smoke from the campfire and finally, we're going to need some glass bottles to collect the honey that's in the bee's nest. So are you ready to go to the village? All right, let's go. All right, Leo, we're starting to approach our village where we have our spider farm. And I know that the meadow is up over this way. So we should park our boat here and then head over into the meadow. Do you see anything? Why if I know? Oh, we found one already. Fantastic. And we found some bees. There's a bee's nest, and you can see the bees are over by the flowers, hovering by them because they're getting pollen from the flowers. And what the bees will do is they'll go into the nest just like that with their pollen, and then that'll create honey or honeycomb depending on how we want to extract it from the bee's nest. So the first thing we should do, go ahead and place down a campfire right underneath the bee's nest. So now you can see the smoke is going up there, and now we're able to walk up there with a pair of shears and take out any honeycomb that we want to take out. Once the hive is full with honey, that's when you can extract it, and you'll see it oozing out the sides of the holes once the bees do their job. Now our bees have come out of the bee's nest, and you can see that the honey is starting to flow outside of our bees nest so we can go ahead and take our shears and right click those and you get yourself some honeycomb one of the things you have to be careful about with bees is that they're just like the wolves if you upset them they become hostile when they become hostile their eyes turn red and they sting you with their stinger and once they sting you their stinger falls off and they end up dying one of the neat things you can do with honeycombs is actually build bee hives in order to build a beehive you're going to need three honeycombs and some wood the next thing we're going to do is get 45 honeycombs because we need 15 beehives one of the things we noticed as the bees were coming in and out of their hive with the pollen on their backs is that sometimes they would go down and hit the fire and catch themselves on fire. But what we did was we lowered the fire into the ground and stuck the bees nest on top of the fire. That way the bees don't get hurt when they come in and out of the nest. The other awesome thing is you can get honey. And one of the ways to get honey is just go up with a water bottle and do the same process. If you right click the water bottle, you will then get a bottle of honey. And a bottle of honey can be used to make a honey block. It could also be used to act as a anti-poisoning agent when you're stung by a bee. So if you have honey on you and you get stung by a bee, it'll help get rid of the poison for you. So as the bees get pollen on their bodies, you'll see them turn with like a white dust on them, just like that. Everything they fly over acts as bone meal acts and helps grow the plant quicker or whatever crops it is. If you put a bee's nest or a beehive near a farm, it will help pollinate that farm quicker, acting as bone meal. All right, Leo, what we should do next is take these bees' nests back with us and go ahead and start working on our bee farm. One important thing is when you're moving these, make sure you use silk touch on any of your tools that, we, that you can put silk touch on. The new block to introduce today is actually a beehive. And to show you how to make a beehive, you need six planks of wood and three honeycombs. So we're gonna make 15 of those. Once you've got your bees nest and your beehive, I like to go into a, an enclosed area. And if you wanna know how to build this, stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how to build this nice looking bee farm. Yeah. Go inside this enclosed area. We're gonna go ahead and place down our bees nest that we've got from the wild. Next, we're gonna go ahead and place down a beehive. Now we're gonna need bees to come inside of our beehive. But there's already bees inside of our bees nest. So in order to get some bees out of the nest, we're gonna put some flowers down inside here so that they have an area to go ahead and pollinate. Once the bees start to become out of the bees nest, they'll begin to pollinate again and start filling up the bees nest. Once you have two bees out of your bees nest, you can grab some flowers and you can make baby bees. And to make baby bees, you feed each one a flower and you'll see little hearts come, and then a baby bee will be produced. 
and giving us some XP in the process. Each one of these beehives will hold up to three bees. You're gonna wanna produce three more bees to put in each beehive that you use. We're gonna use 15 beehives, so we're gonna need 45 bees in total. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. And once that's completed, we'll move to the next step. Once all the beehives are filled with three bees each, I went ahead and stuck them in the chest. The next thing we're gonna do is go back into our house here. And we're gonna go ahead and dig down one space around the entire interior of our farm. Once that's done, it'll look something like this. At the entrance of your farm, go ahead and dig this one and this one out, and then jump down in here, and we're gonna dig this and that out. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and dig these two out, and those three out, and then the same on the other side. And once it's all completed, you should have a 9 by 15 area dug out by one block with these two blocks over here. Next, you're going to go ahead and take it down one more level. Once you're completed with that, it'll look just like this. And then we're going to go to the back left corner. We're going to go ahead and dig down three blocks. We're going to dig this block out here. We're going to put a lever and turn it on. Then we're gonna fill this back in. And we're gonna go ahead and place a power rail down just like that. Then we're gonna place a regular rail, regular rail, regular rail, and then two more regular rails. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and dig down three blocks again, take out this block, add a lever, turn it on, and fill it back in. Down your powered rail and two additional powered rails and run regular rails all the way to the end. Then we're gonna do this, come around this corner, two more. Then we're gonna dig down here, three more blocks, Jump in here, put a lever, turn it on, and fill it back in. Add five powered rails, and finish it off with regular rails. And once you have the two here, we're going to go ahead and dig down three blocks again. Place in our lever, fill this back in, place five power rails, and then finish it with regular rails. And we're going to continue this process all the way till we get to this last row here. And once we get to the second last row here, we're going to stop at the first spot here and we're going to dig down to put our lever on this block. And then five. Once we're at this spot here, we're going to go ahead and place another rail here. And we're going to dig out these four blocks right here. Now we're going to go ahead and dig this one and this one out. We're going to go ahead and put a chest here and a chest here. We're going to go ahead and place a hopper going into this chest and a hopper going into this chest. Then we're going to come to the side and place a hopper going into that hopper and a hopper going into that hopper. And you'll see as the mine cart with hopper goes over the hoppers, it'll drop everything into here, which will go into this chest here. Then go ahead and just put your rails on here. Then we're gonna to come to the end here, and we're gonna dig this, these two blocks out here. We're gonna step over here. We're gonna drop down three blocks, place our lever here, turn it on, and fill it back in. Next, we're gonna place a powered rail here. We're gonna fill this in there, and we're gonna go ahead and place a regular rail there. Then we're gonna come over here and dig these two blocks out here, stand here, and dig down three blocks. Place your lever, turn it on, fill it back in, and fill the rest of this with powered rails. So once that's completed, everything should look like this. This will be our collection system for our honey and honeycomb farm. Next, go ahead and jump down here, come up to the end and go ahead and place your mine cart in. And you'll see that it'll just go up and down the entire area infinitely to continue to collect items. We're gonna go ahead and start filling the second layer back in here, just like this. And once you have everything filled back in, your minecart will be running underneath this. Come over to where your collection area is. You can go ahead and put a dirt block here and a trap door here. And you can use the trap door to get anything out of the chest that you need to get. All right, let me show you how to automate the way to collect honey and honeycombs from a beehive. Another block that we can make that we're going to use for this build is our honeycomb block. And a honeycomb block is basically four pieces of honeycomb put together to make a block. 
So the idea of having a automatic honeycomb arm is pretty simple. All you would have to do is get yourself a beehive that has three bees in it. And once that beehive is full, you'd want an observer looking down at that beehive. So what you would have is you'd have your beehive. Then you could have an observer facing into the beehive, just like that, so that the arrow is facing that way and the face is into the beehive. Then behind it, you're going to want to put a dispenser so that the dispenser is looking into the beehive. On top of the dispenser, you just put a block of your choice, which we're going to use the honey block. And then just add a piece of redstone to that like that. Now it's a very simple circuit. When this fills up with honeycomb, this will observe it filling up. It'll create a pulse. The redstone dust will take the pulse into the dispenser. The dispenser will have a set of shears in it. And then it'll take the honeycomb. And the honeycomb will shoot wherever it shoots. Which is fine because you have your minecart underneath here collecting it all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build nine of these in here. And I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. And once you have it completed, it should look like this. I didn't put the beehives with the bees in there because I don't want the bees flying around until I'm completely done with the farm. And this is just a beehive without any bees in it. So now that was the easy part of the farm. Let me show you the little bit more difficult redstone circuit to get our honey out of the beehives. So in order to extract the honey from a beehive, the first thing we're going to need, of course, is our beehive. And I have an empty beehive here. And then what you're going to want is to have a dispenser looking into the top of this beehive. So the easiest way I find to put a dispenser looking down into the beehive is to go ahead and build yourself a little dirt or any block tower that looks like that. And then if you jump down here and look up at that tower you just built, you could place your dispenser and then you can see that the dispenser is now looking into the beehive. Once you have your dispenser looking into your beehive, you're going to come behind your beehive and place down a redstone comparator so that the two prongs are looking into the beehive. What this is going to do is this is going to compare and shoot redstone out the back as to when this is full. And when this is full, we're going to wrap the redstone around so it clicks into the dispenser. The dispenser will activate a bottle. A bottle will pick up the honey and the honey will be shot out or wherever it gets shot out so that the minecart hopper could collect it. We're then going to go ahead and add redstone here. We're going to put a block of our choice here we're going to put redstone on top of that block of our choice we're going to jump on our top of our block of our choice piece of glass here and a piece of glass there connect it with redstone here here and there and your circuit is complete now what we have to do in here is fill every one of these with a full stack of glass bottles that way once a bottle is dispensed it can't go back in there because they're regular bottles taking up the space therefore it'll shoot out somewhere randomly in this area so the honey can be collected. Another thing to note is you can't put these next to each other. So you actually have to leave a little gap in order to build another one. So I'm going to go ahead and put five more in throughout the rest of this farm to show you what that looks like when it's completed. So once it's all completed, we have our six farms that'll produce honey on this side. And then we have our nine farms over here that'll produce honeycombs. And this farm here is very similar to the sheep wool farm. And this farm over here is very similar to the tree farm. Next, we're going to go ahead and fill all of our dispensers for the honey up with glass bottles. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and fill our dispensers for the honeycomb with shears. Okay, now we have all of our dispensers either filled with bottles or shears. Next, we're going to go ahead and place flowers down. And the places you want to put flowers is everywhere that's not in front of a beehive because if you put it in front of a beehive the bees cannot get into their respective hives so we'll finish putting our flowers down and after we get all the flowers in place we're gonna go ahead now wait for the night time we'll go ahead and put our bees in at night that way the bees won't start flying around until we sleep and it's daytime and then the farm should start to work and there you go the sun is setting and so now we can go ahead and place down our beehives with the bees in them and they shall not come out of their hives you can see that it's instantly working if the hives had honey in them because we were disrupting that observer and you can also hear the bees. And it already collected some honeycomb as you can see. And you can see the same there once it was full it harvested a honey bottle. And the reason the bees don't get mad that the dispenser is harvesting the honey in the honeycomb is because the bees don't know who to get mad at because it's a machine that's operating and taking away the honey and honeycomb. Let's go to sleep and have all the bees show up in the morning.
There you have it, everyone. Look at that. It's a honey bee of a time. And what they'll do is they'll continue to go in and out of their beehives, going to all the flowers that are here, pollinating everything. You can hear them going in and out, in and out. And I think if we stand up here, you can see it actually starting to work. You can see that our comparators are turned on. Therefore, there's something happening in those blocks. And you can see that the power is starting to go up three. So this one's almost ready to harvest. And then as they enter and close this one, you'll see this whole redstone activate. And just like that, as they come out, you see it flickering and turning on and off. It'll just do that to shear any honey that's made as they enter and exit that hive. And you can see how successful the farm is working. We've already got 24 honeycomb and 8 bottles of honey. And this will continue to work until those shears or our bottles run out. And you can see there the honeycomb spat out. And if we just wait for it to disappear like that, the minecart with Hopper collected it, and it's going to go ahead and take it over to the collection area. So one block I didn't show you was the honey block, and a honey block is constructed by using four bottles of honey. Of course, you'll get your four bottles back, but you also get a honey block, and a honey block is really neat because it's similar to a slime block, but it actually slows you down when you run on it. So we're going to go ahead and stick our honey block right there, kind of. See how it takes a little bit longer to run across that block. Yeah, so you won't get fall damage. And that's right. You won't get fall damage if you land on a honey block. Now let's go show you how we made this house so that you can make your bee farm. The farm that I designed, we're going to need an area that is 17 by 17. And we're going to put that area right in here. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, once you have your 17 by 17 area cleared out, go ahead into the front of your farm. And we're going to go to the left-hand front block. I'm going to get brown wool, and I'm going to go six spaces this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to turn and place a block right here. Now we're going to add four more. One, two, three, and four. So you'll have a block of five. Then we're going to come up one. We're going to add two. Then we're going to come up one and add one. Then we're going to come up one and add two. And then we're going to come up and add one. So you should have something that looks like that when you're all done. Next, we're going to go ahead and put four more here. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to turn to the left, add one here and one here. Then we're going to come here in this corner, add one there. Then we're going to come to this corner, add two here. Then we're going to come to this corner here and add four more. One, two, three, and four. And it should look like that when you're done. Next, we're going to look to the left here and add one and two. Then we're going to look here in this corner, add one there. Then we're going to look at this corner. We're going to add one here and one there. Then we're going to come to this one right here, add one. And then we're going to go four more this way. One, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to turn to the left here and add one and two. Turn to the left again, add one. And then finally, to close it off, add one and two there. And the base of your farm would look just like this. And that's what the farm will look like from the top. Now we're going to go ahead and take out this middle piece here. We can go ahead and add our door. Next, we're going to come over here and add two blocks of black glass here and here. Now we're going to go ahead and take a piece of black wool. Place one there and one on that end. Then we're going to take a cyan stained glass pane. Put one there and one there. And then we're going to take a yellow piece of wool and place it here. Next, we're going to place a yellow piece of wool here and here. Then we're going to place a piece of yellow wool here and here. Then we're going to get black wool and place black wool here and here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Black, black, yellow, yellow. Once that's done, the front of our bee farm is completed. Next, we're going to go to this side. We're going to place a yellow glass here, a yellow glass here, and do the same thing on this side, yellow and yellow. Then we're going to go ahead and place a black glass here. And we're going to place one on the other side as well. And then yellow, oops. And then yellow glass, yellow glass, and the same thing on the other side. Yellow glass, yellow glass. Now we're going to come to this side over here where the five block run is. Go ahead and place a piece of black glass here. A black pane here. A yellow pane here. A black pane here. And a black glass here. So it looks just like that.
And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So it would be black glass, black pane, yellow pane, black pane, black glass. Next, we're going to come to these two blocks and put yellow stained glass here. And the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to have a black stain here and a black stained glass here. And then we're going to have yellow glass here and yellow glass on these two. And then we're going to have a black stain here, black paint here, here and here, and black stain there. And then once you have that done, go ahead, climb up here and add one more level to each block. So if it's a yellow glass, Add a yellow glass, then a black glass, yellow glass, black glass, black paint, and then go and then go around the whole thing. And once you're done and have all your glass too high around the perimeter, go ahead and place two blocks of the color of wool above the glass around the perimeter. The yellow to start, then black. And then once you're done, this is what it should look like from the top. And there's your farm from the front. Here's it from the side. There's the farm in the back. And there's your other side. Next, we're going to go ahead and put our roof on. So we're just going to add the same color glass in each row. So it'd be yellow here. And then we're going to go take black and go straight across. Just like that. And continue to do that for all the black and yellow rows. And once you're done with your glass placed by color rows, it'll look like this. Then come to the front of your farm. Go ahead and place three glass blocks here. Go to the back of your farm and do the same as well. Next, we're gonna go behind that row. We're gonna place a, a block of black stained glass here, 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 and here. There'll be five there. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our yellow and put our yellow one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Next, we're gonna take our black and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And the same thing on the other side. And then once you have the both sides complete, just go ahead and fill in the middle with the adjacent colors. Next, we're gonna come to our front of our farm again and we're gonna place a yellow glass stained block here. And then we're gonna take black and go one, two, three, and place one up top as well. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take yellow and place it here. Then one, two, and three, and then one there. So you have a yellow triangle in the shape just like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna go ahead and do that to the black next. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then one, two, three, four, and five, then one, two, three, and one in the middle. And you should have a black triangle that looks like that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then once your triangle is complete on this side, we're gonna go ahead and just connect everything. So we put by color. So we'll put black, yellow, and then black, and then the same thing here, black, 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 yellow, 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 black, black, and black. And we'll do that to the remainder to finish the roof. And once your roof's complete, it will look like this. Once again, we're going to come to the front of our farm on the roof. And we're going to come to these two yellow blocks here. And we're going to put down a half a slab of polished diorite in both those spots, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and place one here and two more just like that. And then we're going to place one there. Now we're going to add three more here. And then we're going to place one on the edge just like that. Now we're going to go behind it and place one on the same block on the other side here. And then we're going to place one like that on the left side of it. And then we're going to go ahead and place one right above it just like that. Next, we're going to turn to the left of it. We're going to place one here and one here. Then we're going to turn to the left and place one here. And then we're going to turn back to the right and place one here. Now we're going to go ahead and place three more here. One, two, and three. Then we're going to turn in towards the farm and place one here. Then we're going to turn out to the right, place one there. In towards the farm here, out towards the right there. Then one here. And then one here, here, and there. And then once you have that completed, go ahead and fill this in with regular glass. And that's what your left wing should look like. And we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side here. 
And when the roof and the wings are all completed, your bee farm is complete with the exception of the stinger and the antennas. Let's go put those on. All right, once again, come to the front of your farm right above the blue panel glass where the eyes are. Go ahead and place a fence post, another fence post, and one down just like that. And do the same thing right above the other blue pane. And then at the very end of those fence posts, go ahead and hang a lantern just like that. Next, come to the back of your bee farm. Go to the third block here. One, two, three. And right above the glass pane, go ahead and put a black piece of wool and a red piece of wool. And there you go. You have your stinger. We can go ahead now and remove our wool around the perimeter. And there you have your bee farm all complete. It's all right, Leo. This looks like a pretty successful bee farm. What do you say we go play a game? Yeah. All right. What do you want to play? Tag? You want to go play tag? Yeah. All right. Play tag by the bee farm. We want to run around the bee farm. All right, ready, set, go. Where's Leo? I'm gonna get Leo first. <laughs> tag, you're it. You're it. I'm gonna get you. Not me. <laughs> no, you missed. You missed me. No. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you're it. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Got him. Aha. Oh boy, he has that axe. He looks scary as a slime boy axe. Oh, you got me. You got me. You win. Let's go say goodbye to everybody, Leo. All right, well, that wraps up this video. I hope everybody had a good day. I hope everybody learned a lot about bees. I hope everybody learned about how to get honeycomb. I hope everybody learned about how to get honey from beehives and bee nests. I hope everybody learned how they can make their own automatic honeycomb and honey farm. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>